Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions in love. And so Virgo, we have uh, these various oracle cards here, right? They're kind of a little bit kind of oracle and uh, and uh, tarot cards as well. We have Tristan and Isolde. We have Desire. And I feel like this came out in Sagittarius' reading. And, you know, it's a story about, it's kind of like the lovers. That's what that card, uh, what Desire is in that deck. It's about two people who are like really wanted to be together. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody here that you really want to be with, right? We have the Queen of Coins. Maybe she is, this could be you, Queen of Pentacles. This talks about beauty and fertility and kind of, it can talk about financial or, you know, like stability. We have that here too, uh, the Ten of Crystals, at least about the stability and the attainment part. I, <coughs> I feel like you are trying to there's somebody here you desire but you want like you want some stability with that person <coughs> and you could be maybe concerned about what you have attained already the ten of pentacles or the ten of crystals is you know it can talk about what you have kind of made for yourself right in your life right it can it can talk about a union as well mm -hmm. and this two of stabs over here is talks about new ventures yeah, you want like a new journey with somebody or new ventures, you do. And we have the community card coming out. But before we talk about that, we have the smudging ceremony here. This usually talks about kind of putting the past to rest and moving forward. Maybe this is what you want to do with somebody. Mm-hmm, a smudging ceremony. And we have this community card showing up. We have these three girls here. It really kind of looks like the Three of Cups. Uh, let's see what their idea is this connection with kindred spirits yeah uh you think that whoever you are kind of really desiring here is kind of like uh friends to you or family to you the community card like kindred somebody who's kindred right like they say that you know in the south they say oh uh where's your kin like where's your family right and you know and kinship and all it just talks about kind of family and kind of being there for your family but you think somebody is kindred which is kind that's what you think or that's what you feel right mm -hmm. yeah i feel like you do and this is the person that you are really desiring let's see what else we have for virgo let's see what we have for virgo please for virgo and we have strategy yeah it's interesting in sagittarius is reading uh, at least in the, in the extended, uh, there was a chess player there. And this talks about, you know, strategy, of course. Right now, you are strategizing, I believe, about somebody. You want a new venture with somebody. Yeah, you want a new union with somebody. Yeah, you do. And this smudging ceremony, uh, it can talk about you just wanting to kind of clean the past away. Yeah, let go of the past, purify, detox, release whatever doesn't serve you or support you in your life. Cleanse your body and environment by doing space clearing and clutter clearing. Let go of the old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's probably from your past that you really desire and you want to let go of the past. You're like, I feel like you want to start over with somebody. Let's get one more card here. That's, that's kind of how it looks so far. Let's see what we have for Virgo for Virgo please and their person we have the storm warning okay so uh, maybe some storm has to happen before you can go kind of have your new adventure this is really cute here you look like you're kind of like you know uh, somebody here some explorer but you know what you're looking for you're looking for somebody here who is somebody that you know I believe that you're that you're head over heels in love with it looks like maybe you had an awakening here because uh, about it like you know but you look like you want to let go of the past and I don't know if it's with them or somebody else or both right the past can mean a lot of things right and I was using these other let me see what these cards have to say here in this particular deck just being let's see what else we have for for Virgo mm -hmm. for Virgo please and we have the breeze, she who surprises, surprise, discovery, and revelation. You could have discovered you're in love with somebody here. Maybe you want to surprise them, this person. I feel like you did have an awakening for sure. 
Uh, but I don't know if you are surprising this person or not. This is what I mean. This I'm not sure if this is an event or looks like it is. Let's see what else we have. But you could have woke up and kind of discovered this. You could have. Yeah, you definitely could have. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, we have she who doubts, fear, wariness, and trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doubting this person, I believe, that you're in love with here. That you're probably not with them. Maybe you're doubting here that you can clear out the past and, you know, start all over with them. You could be doing that. So let's see what we have. Got lots of Oracle cards here for you. Yes, we do, Virgo. Let's see what we have for, for Virgo, please. And we're going to take not all these cards. No, we're not. We'll take the Three of Wands. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. This talks about completing the first step of a plan for Virgo. For Virgo. This can talk about, it's like the, ready for the first step sometimes. I feel like you are ready for the first step with this person. Justice. This is to bring balance. The Seven of Swords is here. This is what's on your mind. This Seven of Swords talks about tact instead of aggression. Like you, maybe you think this person will like, because you probably doubt them. We have the She Who Doubts card here. Uh, you're not trusting them or you have some fear. Maybe you feel like they're just going to argue with you as soon as you see them, right? Maybe, maybe you have done something in the past. Because you look like you really love somebody, but you want to clear the clutter maybe or clear out the past with the smudging ceremony. Like, let's don't talk about the past, I'm sorry, or whatever you're going to say. But you are uh, trying to figure out your strategy right here. And in your challenge is going to be the Ace of Swords. This is a new order. Uh, like, to have things brand new... I mean, we see this usually as a, like as a, a new beginning, the Ace of Swords or a victory, but this is like a brand new order. Like, I don't want anything like the past. And I feel like that's what you want to do with somebody. And you're trying to figure out what to say to them, concerned that they could argue with you or maybe, maybe slam the door in your face and not give you a chance because you look like you want a chance to explain yourself here. And the Three of Swords reversed. OMG, Two of Pentacles showing up. And the Three of Swords reversed. This could be like, I want to let go of the past. I want to let go of the heartbreak. Could be. You could be hoping to let go of heartbreak here. And, or troubles, maybe relationship troubles with this person. The Two of Pentacles here. This is juggling. This is what you're afraid of. Maybe you have juggled somebody here. Maybe you're ending a third party, three of swords reversed, in your hope and desire. You have a storm warning here. I'm not really sure with, I'm not sure with who. Because there could be two other people. There could be three people here for some. But what's clear here is that you want to return to somebody and you really desire and love this person. You could be feeling like maybe they are this uh, embodying this queen of coins here. Which is beauty and fertility. There could be somebody that you really is you feel like is, is that way. And this person you think is like your friend with this community card. Like you feel like they're home to you. Like they're kindred. They're just kind of home. Mm-hmm. And your person's energy, show me the energy for a Virgo's person. Show me the energy for a Virgo's person. And we have the Seven of Wands. This is competition. The Seven of Wands. God, this showed up in two other readings here. Mm-hmm. And that's all that means in that in that deck. It doesn't mean anything else. Wow. I mean that is a little bit, but that's the main meaning, my point. And let's see what else we have for Virgo's, for Virgo's person. For Virgo's person, please. They have the Page of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. They have all these pages here. I feel like this person feels like... 
let's see what else we have. We have the Four of Swords in their challenge. Let's see what they want or hoping for. Eight of Cups. They want to walk away. Or they want you to walk away from somebody. I mean, you might be trying to get back together with somebody here. I think you are, but there could be like a third person here who feels like there's competition. Seven of Wands because the Three of Swords is here reversed. Let's see what else we have. And here they are fearing the King of Swords, like afraid you're making a decision. Kind of looks like that way. Does that make sense? Kind of looks like that way. No, it looks it looks like that. <laughs> oh, it looks that way or it looks like that. Let's see what we have for you guys. The Three of Pentacles this is like completing the first step of some type of, let's see. And we have the moon with it. Mm -hmm. Well, Virgo, I feel like you uh, are, you have some doubts here. There could be a Pisces or a Cancer here. I feel like you have some doubts. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you have right here. She who doubts. Fear, wariness, wariness, and trust. Like I'm wary of this. Like I'm not trusting it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, this is confusing. See, this is confusing to you about this person. I feel like if you can bring balance and clear the clear the past. So there's somebody you want here, but you're not sure if they're either going to take you back or agree to this or maybe trust you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, initial uh, completion of work or initial like stage of work. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> and you have the seven of swords on your mind. This is just like being careful with what you say, avoiding like an argument here. This is the time for being tactful. Right? You might be thinking, you might be doubting if you can get past the first stage with this person. Like, which could just be to go talk to them, possibly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're doubting and they're not going to give you a chance. That's what this is. Nine of Cups. So this is your wish come true. This is like somebody you really want. Your challenge, King of Cups reverse and the Ace of Swords. This is like a new order. This is what you want, like a new, like a new change, kind of like a victory, but a change. You have the King of Cups in your challenge in the reversed, reverse. Somebody here, this could be your person's energy. Maybe you're with somebody right now. This Three of Swords reverse, you could be wanting to end, end some type of a relationship. But it's what really, really, what's really clear here is that you're in love with somebody that you're trying to go after. This King of Cups could be somebody that you're you're with and you want you want a whole new life. The Ace of Swords is really like a whole new life. You have the Three of Swords reversed. This is an interesting reading. Two of Swords with it. You're hoping to like like either end relationship troubles or end a third party or you could just be hoping to kind of end. This could be like hoping to end a fight with somebody. The person you want to return to, most likely. I feel like you want to end like all these, this heartache. Maybe you brought them heartache. Because you look like you're kind of concerned if somebody's going to believe you. That's kind of how it looks here. And give you a chance. Tension and anxiety. You might be in a union with somebody where there's tension and anxiety right now. Maybe this King of Cups here. Maybe it's Libra with justice. I mean, it could be anybody. It doesn't have to be any sign here on the table. It could be Pisces or Cancer. We have the moon. 
And it could be an air sign. We have the King of Swords here. I think you are hoping to not have anxiety with, or not, not have tension with somebody. Yeah, this could be two actions here. I'll, like it could. I feel like you, you don't want tension. You just want balance. Where's that card at in this reading here? I feel like there's some type of card here that talks about balance. Okay, well, I don't really see balance, but uh, you're hoping for stability. And you want to clear the clear the old smudging ceremony. That's what you want. Let's get another card on your hope. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. These don't come in the reverse, really. No, but these if these are people, I'd take them in the reverse because that could be somebody feeling in the reverse because of the situation. Yeah, you're hoping to end some type of an argument with somebody here, but you're not sure they're going to give you the time of day about it. I'm pretty sure... Or they're not going to like, I don't know, appreciate this like you do, something like that. And you know, the storm warning card, you could be like, you could be breaking up with somebody to have something all brand new with somebody else. Two of Pentacles, the magicians here with it. Um, you could be fearing somebody, you could be fearing here that maybe somebody thinks you're a player. The Two of Pentacles is just mostly kind of juggling. Yeah, it is. Oh, excuse me a second. Change and versatility. You're afraid here that this person is going to, they're not going to believe you changed. Or you're afraid you can't change things with somebody. And the magician is here with it. Like, I can't manifest this. And, you know, the magician can sometimes talk about a player in the past, like a trickster, could. You're not trying to bring anybody any deception here, though. That's very clear. Your person has the seven of wands, like they are suffering because of stiff competition. Here's the man fighting back, and he's not in a good place. No, he's not. He looks very overwhelmed and upset. And they have the hermit. Yeah, they're upset with you, Virgo. I'm pretty sure that's just you here. They could be trying, trying to shine the light on something here. Maybe if there is competition, the Page of Cups is with it. This is uh, bringing, bringing news, but like with like very intuitively. We have the Chariot card. And this is them feeling like struggling with this. This person thinks that they have competition. That's all that's going on right here. They do. And, uh, mm -hmm. where's your challenge at? This is what you want. The three of swords reversed. <clears throat> Page of cups. This could be somebody you're with now and they could know that they have competition for some. Yeah. See what the Page of cups says here. Uh, new beginnings on a feeling level. Okay. Yeah. Your person thinks that you're beginning a brand new relationship with somebody else and they're struggling with this. Wow. Page of Pentacles is in there. Uh, what's on their mind? They think that you want something that's, some, that's really fertile here. Yeah, because he's standing in, you know, he's standing uh, on the farm, like where they are growing, right? Yeah, that's what's on their mind. They think that you want to go grow something with somebody else. That's what your person thinks. Small beginnings, mm -hmm. that's what they're, sometimes this is like a, a new start. Yeah, maybe they are trying to start their own life here, but I feel like your person here is, uh, I don't know if you have left somebody, you could be, you could have left somebody or you are doing that. Let's, get, let's see what else is on their mind. Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they think you're starting out with somebody else here. Queen of Wands, probably with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. And their challenge is the Four of Swords here. And this is, uh, it could be healing in this deck. Let's see what they say here. The man's in the church. Uh, the heart is on, this, is on the window. And, uh, you know, some, he's usually 
praying there. He usually is. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here for the Four of Swords, which is showing up in a key place. This is a challenge, and this is accepting the limits of both victory and defeat. This is their challenge. Your person here is trying to accept being feeling defeated and your victory with somebody else. That's clear here. They start the first card with stiff competition and the man who was so upset here and kind of thrown off of his, you know, he's here with the, with the, uh, with the wand here, very upset. This person knows you're in love with somebody else. And I don't know how they really know, I, but they know. <clears throat> Let's get a card here. We're going to call it a reading in just a minute. Let's see what we have. Uh, in the challenge, four of swords, and we have the three of wands. Yeah, this is kind of work in progress. That's what this is. Or taking your first step here. This person is trying to deal with this. I don't know if you've left them or not. I don't know, but they know you have new beginnings over here. Uh, a new beginning with somebody. Eight of cups is what they're hoping for or what they want with the tower. I feel like they're just kind of hoping that you'll probably move on from somebody else, from this other person that you want, most likely. Unless they're hoping to be able to move on from you and not, you know, maybe feel so heartbroken. The king of swords is with it and the seven of cups. Here they are fearing here that you, you're making a really hard choice. And uh, we're going to end this reading. We're going to have an extended. We are. And the extended is, this camera is going to cut off in a minute. The extended is, the link is below. They're super affordable. And we're going to see how they feel about you. And the environment that this person is in, emotional and physical. We're going to see uh, their near future. We're going to see how they are seeing this, right? How they're looking at the whole situation. What you don't know about them and any external uh, influences for this person or outside influences and of course their true intentions they're all super affordable the link is below and uh, mm -hmm. yeah this person thinks you're already kind of three of wands the first completion here in a situation this is in their challenge yeah they think that you're already like with somebody else here or that you are like moving toward that person right now yeah we're gonna see all that about them you guys and the link is below. They're all super affordable. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.